apologize to all you ex if I say something wrong or if I say something that bothers you. <laughs> but I'm a developer and not an expert in UX, but I suffer the UX designers. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to be pro proactive, so I'm going to try to explain what we suffer and what we don't like when we are building MVPs and what we like. So let's see if we can just make a talk and after the talk we can discuss a little bit about what I said and what you think about what I said. So, a minimum level of product or how to build an MVP that you should love. So, it usually the minimum level of product is just the next step of an MVP. Is a, I can call it a, a complete MVP of with all the features or niceties that you want to add to the MVP. But it's not an MVP, it's the next level. But first of all, let me explain what is Pleo. I mean, you already explained it, but Pleo is a primary cloud solution that automates the expensive performance simplified and understanding. This is what we get from the web page. But basically, what we are trying to do is, is, is we're giving to all the users, so all the employees of a company, a credit card. So they don't have to, for example, pay in advance when they have to book a flight to the office in San Francisco. So there's like the contents are already paying for it. And then what we provide is a system that the bookkeepers and the administrators of the company are happy with. Because once you booked, you get the receipt, then you take a picture, and then everything is done. The, book, the bookkeeper is happy, the admin is happy because everything is covered, and the user is happy because it doesn't have to pay in advance two months. So as I said, so we have four different users. So we have the admin, which is the responsible of the company, usually the CFO or the CEO of the company, which is loading money into Pleo and managing the team. Then we have the employees, that basically what they are, they're spending money that the administrator is putting into Pleo. And then the bookkeeper, which is the one that is taking the responsibility that everybody uses the money, what they have to use the money. So that's what Pleo is, but okay, how, so we have to make an MVP of, of this, and Cleo is managing money and expense processor, and so a lot of different things that are making Cleo not a simple app that has these features, but has a lot of things. So let's build an MVP of that. So before starting to build an MVP, so as a developer, you have to understand what an MVP is, and then you get this reference from this book that most everybody had read, the Lean Startup from Enterprise, and it's saying that an MVP is a version of the product that enables a full turn of the build, measure, learn loop with a minimum amount of effort and development time. Okay, so that's, that's something that, okay, let's, let's try to understand. So the first part is a version of the product that enables full turn, build, measure, learn loop. As a developer, it's like, okay, I need to build something that is going to change in one month. So let's try to make it in a way that I can change it in one month, and then another month, and then another month, and then get some input, and then you change it. So let's build something that is easy to modify. But then on the other side, you get this part, let's say, with a minimum amount of effort or development time. It's like, OK, <laughs> there's something wrong in this definition, right? So I have to do something that I can work with in a month, but I have to do it in less than a month, because that's what they are asking me for. So that's what we understand in the end. So could you please develop something quick as good and learn that we can learn from? Yeah. But so th there are some concerns that as developers we have to raise because well we have to build this and it's not simple to build. So I I'm gonna say some like examples that things I suffer and how we did it at Flail and that's why I'm giving this talk today. Scope, 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 please. So I heard so many times that we want to build the new what? And for example, FinTech, we want to disrupt into the banking industry. What does it mean to disrupt into the banking industry, please? So could you scope a little bit? This is an MVP. We haven't even got the angel investment yet. <laughs> so, please, let's try to find a, a solution, want to identify what we want to solve. And that's something that at Cleo we just 
discovered from the beginning and the CEO and the CTO had pretty clear in mind. So we want to solve this specific problem, which is expense management. We're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're not going to have a band. We're not going to do something else but this specific thing. And we're going to start from there. And that's a pretty good point because then as a developer, you can understand, OK, so we have to build something that does something. But I'm, I can see the idea and try to build an MVP based on that. So then you can go that way. And another thing is do one thing right. So it doesn't matter if your MVP has a 1,000 features <coughs> or 100 features. But if they are half the way done, or the experience of the user is pretty poor, then it's better to not release that MVP. So I'd rather build something that is amazing in terms of the experience of the user, but only does that. So for example, in case of Playo, the first version of Playo was an app that when you do an expense, you get a push notification, you take a picture, and you upload that picture to the system. That's it. And that already solved the first problem I mentioned, so we want to solve expense management. So we have an expense, we have the picture, which is the bookkeeper, what, what the bookkeeper needs, and then we upload that song. And then we have an MVP of the product. And people can start to iterate about that. So okay, what if we add now a list of expenses? What if we add, for example, details of expenses? So I can add a project, I can add a note, okay, I have this coffee that I invited this specific customer. So you can iterate from there and then get to something bigger. But the first iteration is like, okay, this is the problem I want to solve. Prioritize. Uh, this is the biggest pain I ever had in this wall uh, of development, which is this. We have to talk to, to designers and UX and and prioritize things. So, so you, you, as a developer, you get this decider with a lot of animations, a lot of nice features, a lot of things, and you have the time. It's like, okay, I have to build all of this in one week. That, that, that doesn't work. I, mean, I have to sleep at some point. So, you get to the side, it's like, okay, I don't want to do this. I, I can do that in one week. This is not nice. But then you can say that. I mean, you can tell the designer, we don't do this, 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 and that's the thing. We don't know. You have to offer him something. So, yeah. Are you going to do We try to work as I. Okay, but don't, don't you then have a product in the Agile team? Yes, yes, we do. You should try to trust that. Yes, but um, I'm talking about MVP. I'm talking about earlier stage. When, when you're a company of five people, you don't get to have a product owner. Okay. <laughs> so when, when we are in the states that we are 50, we are senders, for example. We have like, <laughs> how many product owners do you have in senders? The entire company, yeah, a lot. So, <laughs> so the, the, the scope of this talk is just to, to, to the MVP. So the starting point where, where you have a CEO, you have maybe a CTO, and you don't have even money to, to, to pay the developer for, and you have a external UX designer that you will hire at some point. Yeah, so we have 65 people here that covers product design, DevOps, engineering, sales, and advocacy, and we have four product managers and a uh, product director. So roughly four to five people in a company of this size, 60, 65 people. So for example, at Play Ocurrence State, we have 50 people and we have two product managers, product owners, you can say, that, what you call it. And we have a team of 12 developers. But in the beginning, there were not even a designer. There was just a couple of developers, one doing the app and the other one doing the, the backend, so all the infrastructure with the banks and so on. So that's why I'm saying that if you get the, the, the point, so you have a designer doing the design and so on, so you have to give it some feedback. As a developer, I can do this, this, and that, and that's, that's the scope. So of course, that when you reach to that point that you have problem owner, you don't have to say anything. But until that point, we have like a lot of iterations to go through. Don't improvise. That's something that I experienced personally, and I, I can tell that. So we build an app, and then that app, so you can either uh, have a login or an anonymous user. That's fine. That, that's what the requirements at the beginning. Fine. But then when you have the first version, OK, the MVP is ready. Here you have. Uh, say, yeah, but we want that if as an anonymous user uh, decides to sign up, we want to store all his data and put it in his profile. 
It's like, well, that's not what we talked in the beginning. So what we told them you need, you can have anonymous users, and anonymous user doesn't have any, doesn't own any data. That's that's the user, anonymous, and that's what it is. So when you sign up, you lose everything, and then you have other users, so you get all the benefits of doing the login. But then don't do that. I mean, that can screw. That took me like two weeks to figure out how to do that, and the plan was to release two weeks before. So we were two weeks later on the releasing on the MVP because they decided to add this extra feature and of course they pay, they decide, but still then don't came with these issues. Build a better community. This is where you gather your feedback about the MVP. So before actually releasing your MVP to everybody, you should test it with some people because it might be that at this stage you are building something that nobody likes it or the experience is really bad but if you can get the feedback that's what you really want to use to, to iterate and get to the point of this lovable MVP and differentiate from the others this is how Cleo looks like so it's an expense management so it's fintech, banking so it's kind of this, sorry, boring <laughs> um, area. So where everything is blue, like business blue and gray, black-ish. And then we decide to go pink. Why? So the reason is that, what is this ping app you have there? People will ask about ping and what is this ping and everybody starts talking about the ping thingy and so on. So that's, that's something that is really important. So don't build the same app. Don't try to build Airbnb. Don't try to build Spotify. Don't, don't follow those decisions. Try to break it. So try to make something new and you can differentiate. Otherwise you're just building another thing that, well, okay, nobody will talk about it. So I will resume how to build an MLP or the minimum lovable product as these three things. Build something useful, build something that it's actually solving a problem of someone. Don't build, or well, don't try to build something that tries to solve a lot of different things because you will not solve all of these things in the first version. So try just to, fall, to, 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 to solve the first issue. So, what we did at Play of the expense management, so real expense. You get the push notification, you take a picture, you upload, you're done. So you don't have to fill this horrible spreadsheet with I spend this month into this because of that. Buy a milk. So you have to scope. So you have to really make something that you can make in the time frame you have to do it. Otherwise, you can just iterate and iterate and iterate and it will never release. <coughs> and the third thing is make something remarkable. Make something that people will talk about. Because otherwise, you just build something and then you are another one of these two billion of apps that in App Store there are. That's everything I have to share with you. Thank you very much.